Hello everyone, this is Latia for you coming today with another scripture from the Lord. We are in Joshua chapter 7 verse 11, Hosea chapter 14 verse 9, and Romans chapter 12 verse 3. Let's go ahead and pray and we can get started. Thank you Lord God for your word. Thank you for our willingness, Lord God, to be used by you, even our willingness which is a good thing comes from you, Lord God. We know that it is by your grace that we have gifts to be used. And Lord God, we ask you, Jesus, to just help us in our being used by you. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. All right, you guys, Joshua chapter 7, verse 11. Israel has sinned. They have transgressed my covenant that I commanded them. They have taken some of the devoted things. They have stolen and lied and put them among their own belongings. All right. And so this is speaking of that corporate punishment system, right? Israel was tested at the battle of Ai right? The first time they fought, um, every battle that they went through was basically a test, right? Will you be obedient to what God said? And so, um, you know, every battle had its specific instructions. Do this um, thing, march around this many times, um, burn all of these things. Um, you can take these things, but leave these things, right? So, Every battle had a specific set of instructions. And that's like the life of the believer, right? We listen to the instructions of the Lord. We do as the Lord has called us to do. And so it says, Israel has sinned. They have transgressed my covenant that I commanded them. So remember during the battle of Ai, they they lost to a very small, small amount of people that they were fighting. Um, and so this really discouraged them. Um, they lost 36 men, right? And so it says they have taken some of the devoted things they have stolen and lied and put them among their own belongings. So they had done wrong in the sight of God. And so um, they they were, they had transgressed against um, God and God saw them, right? And, and, and God knew that, if they rid themselves of the sin, then they would be free of that thing, right? They could move on and keep going under the blessing. Um, but those people who had stolen those things um, that were devoted to destruction, um, would now they will be devoted to destruction. So it was a test. It was all a test. And so um, the second verse that the Lord gave me was Hosea chapter 14, verse 9. Whoever is wise, let him understand these things. Whoever is discerning, let him know them. For the ways of the Lord are right and the upright walk in them. But transgressors stumble in them. All right. And so we know that God still gives us commands to this day and the battles that we fight um, in our daily life have specific instructions attached to them. Right. Everybody may not have the exact same instructions, but, you know, for the most part, you can go to the word and everything is going to line up with the word. Right. If, if you know that God is trying to help you in your anger, your temper or, or, or the way you're doing a certain thing and you're presented with that thing, whereas somebody else might be presented with the same thing and, you know, they don't have a problem with that. So their instructions may be different. Right. It, it's all a test. It, it's a test of you believing God for what God told you, even though he didn't tell everybody that, right? Or or you believing and having an understanding uh, of, of the importance of obedience. And so this can be hard. This can be a trial. This can be a test. And, and, you know, as a believer, especially in small details, you know, God can be really and truly testing you. And you just have to stand firm in faith, right? You have to um, realize, okay, I may have gotten defeated here, or I may have fallen here, but at least with this, 
new covenant that we have um, with Christ Jesus promises, um, we we can get up, we can ask for forgiveness, see God's face, get up and keep moving forward, right? Um, we can look for the next test and try to be wise and discern, um, try, to, try to have understanding, try to make sure that we're allowing the word of God to be written on our heart, remembering the last commands that the Lord gave us and moving forward. All right. And so it says, whoever is wise, let him understand these things. Whoever is discerning, let him know them. So God is not wanting um, everyone to just get a hold of all the promises and the truth and they just scatter them like the to the pigs, right? It's just, you know, everybody doesn't appreciate the word of God. Everybody doesn't come under that covering, right? And so he's saying, hey, when you aren't discerning, go on in that way, right? When you're choosing that path, keep going on that path. And when you when you choose to come under this covering, come fully under, right? He he wants to bless those that are reaching out and they have the hunger and thirst for righteousness. They're going to be filled, right? And so he he's desiring those who have the desire to receive more and and those who do not to keep going in their way and so it says whoever is wise let him understand these things whoever is discerning let him know them for the ways of the lord are right every good thing comes from god right the ways of the lord are right there is no wrong in god right? Our offense should be with the world and not with the ways of God. God has his ways and we should come into agreement with him, hating the things that he hates and loving the things that he loves. All right. It says for the ways of the Lord are right and the upright walk in them. So the upright um, um, are are profited um, by the ways of God, the, the righteous ways of God, right? As they discern the things of God, as they listen for the voice of God, as they understand the things of God, and they're walking in God's righteousness, um, they, they're going to be able to walk upright, right? It's not going to cause a hindrance to them, right? Um, but it says here, but the transgressors stumble in them. So the same thing that um, might have helped one person um, can cause some people who are not discerning, who are not understanding, who are not seeking God, who who are in disagreement with the things that um, the word says, it, it's going to cause them to stumble right? That's a stumbling block. That is, that is going to be sin for them because they, they are not seeking after the things of God. All right. Let me read all that part together. Whoever is wise, let him understand these things. Whoever is discerning, let him know them for the ways of the Lord are right. And the upright walk in them, but transgressors stumble in them. And so just like, um, with the battle of AI, the man who stole all those goods and hid them in his tent, the people, the family um, of his who did not try to, you know, turn him in or anything like that. Um, all of them went down together, right? That That's just the same way it will be um, in tribulation. The people who refuse to repent, the people who choose another way, the people who um, choose to not understand or discern the ways of the Lord um, and walk in them um, are going to stumble, right? And that stumbling is, is unto death, right? And so we have to be in prayer for them. We have to be in prayer that we stay in a mindset of understanding, stay in a mindset of discernment, um, because that's a, a daily test. That is a, 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 a thing that we all should be perfected in. All right. And so the third um, verse that the Lord gave me was Romans chapter 12, verse three, for by the grace given to me, I say to everyone among you, not to think of himself more highly than he ought to think, but to think with sober judgment, each according to the measure of faith that God has assigned. So maybe you're not stumbling in the ways of God and you're doing well, 
with what he is teaching you. Everyone, you know, falls short, but um, sometimes progress can be an enemy as well, right? That progress, that that thing that is is you're doing well in, um, the enemy wants to come in and use as a test in itself as to bait you into pride, right? To bait you into pointing the finger at others and judging others' actions, to bait you into um, having a haughty spirit because you have done something right, right? But we know that all righteousness all goodness comes from the Lord. Anything that is up to his perfection comes from him, right? It can't come from us because we are, we're always going to fall below the standard. So in that success, it can be a test, right? The success is the test itself. And so that, that success is, is, is the, the factor of, Hey, you know, pride, Pride um, and 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 pointing the finger at others and thinking more highly than you ought to in itself um, can be the test, right? So we always have to keep our mindset on things above and we need to have understanding and discernment of what it is that the Lord is trying to promote us to and trying to um, keep us walking with him and not stumbling in the things that are of God, Amen. All right, you guys, let's pray. Thank you, Father God, for this word. Thank you for the truth, Lord God. We love you. We praise you. We ask you to help us to walk in your ways uprightly. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. All right, you guys, take care and be blessed.